So T Wolf says, uh, on, this is on Twitter, says, I just found out that homeless placed in hotels in San Francisco are being delivered alcohol, weed, and methadone because they identified as an addict and alcoholic for free. You're supposed to be offering treatment. This is enabling and is wrong on so many levels at SFDPH and at some other people. Uh, and then the SFDPH responded and said, that's the San Francisco Department of P Public Health. They said, these harm reduction based practices, which are not unique to San Francisco and are not paid with taxpayer money, help guests successfully complete isolation and quarantine and have significant individual and public health benefits in the COVID-19 pandemic. As so, in they're not peeing in the streets. Yeah. So people. San Francisco is just uh, the, the, the Department of Public Health is trying to defend itself here. And that's because the city with more human turds in the streets than affordable housing is supplying some of its homeless with the entire party during quarantine by putting them up in hotels, then delivering alcohol, marijuana and methadone to them. Well, so is it I would because to be a homeless person in San Francisco right now? Is it because they don't want them going into like, um, you know, shock and then having to go to the hospital, clogging up the hospitals when they need the hospital space? Or, sure. Or they're sure doing Wes, this? Is that what they're doing? I don't know. Sure. Wes, yes. That that's the uh, argument for it. But. It's um, a bridge a too far. Methadone would be one thing. Like methadone makes sense. If you're a methadone alcohol addict. Alcohol and marijuana does not make much sense. Yeah. <laughs> my, I, I've been having to drive to get yeah. my weed because my guy pretty much shut down business. Yeah. And he won't They're even. They're literally act. just having parties. No, yeah, They're yeah. Shot, more yeah, manageable. Sh yeah, yeah. No, shout out uh, Jack Bayless and the Hive who sent this in. Also, yeah, they're clearly just moving the party from the street to the hotel. Yeah. That's all it's all That's all it's good. It's just an awesome party. They're for just homeless people them a, in the hotel, a multiple floor party scene. What hotels um, are these? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna take it back to the internet here. Same thread as my man T Wolf who started it. Remember uh, T Wolf and remember, um, uh, yeah. So let's let's get going. So he, responding to T Wolf, Clyde Faircourt, remember this name as well, says, "Hey, number one, Tom, uh, are people supposed to seize uh, from alcohol withdrawal treatment? Uh, is not medical detox?" If people are alcohol dependent, they would need medically managed alcohol detox, which they don't want. Remember, hotel stays are 100% voluntary. So some of the extreme alcoholics, maybe, like the methadone, might need uh, a little bit of alcohol. That's what uh, Clyde Faircloth said. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they they yeah, definitely yeah. need it. But you can't, yeah, if you're a hardcore, you can't, you can't go cold turkey, you'll die. Right. Yeah. Like, well, uh, right, but why is it? I don't even understand why. Like the whole basis of the argument is just because it's happening. I get it. Yeah, okay, exactly. No. So responding also to this thread, Alexa, love the uh, love in the time of Corona says, my nephew is an alcoholic. When he drinks, he gets violent. Last time he tried to choke his girlfriend to death. You cool with that, Clyde? So she's oh yeah, you don't think there's a little <laughs> bit of tussling going on <laughs> yeah, in the hotel? Nice she's responding to Clyde and says, if my nephew gets drunk, he strangles his girlfriend. I want to I want to point <laughs> out that her at is at I'm drinking gin. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, Red, Red Army <laughs> Duck responds and says that uh, that's been policy of wet housing for a long time. You know nothing. And it's true. Like the S F D P H said, there are wet housing in you know several cities. Um, but I, some tells me San Francisco takes it to an extreme. Like the guys. Are like, oh, in terms of the liberty yeah, that is a, a, available much, to the patrons. Yeah. How oh, frequently yeah. they're delivering the booze and marijuana. We need yeah. more booze. OK, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hurry up. We're all shit in the lobby. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to see the scene when they uh, when they deliver. It must be must be oh very very happy scene. That's the worst job, dude. It's the like booze. it's like if you put, if you put out a loaf of bread amongst ducks or something. Yeah, you know, like exactly. worse. <laughs> just, just they, swarm. They just put the box down in the. No, this this has to be a situation where uh, I I bet it's like a nonprofit or some sort of like agency is paying for the hotel stays so the homeless don't have to be in the streets. But like, how pissed are you? If some guy shows up, he's like, hey, man, I'd like to rent out uh, all your rooms. And you're like, oh, yeah, OK, cool. This is going to be good for me. And then you start seeing a <laughs> gaggle of homeless men and women yeah. occupying your space. And then you're like, OK, I can deal with this. Then they bring in the fucking booze. Yeah. Well, it has imagine, to be it has to be arranged by the government because the hotels are shut down. Imagine cleaning this this up after this too. the cleaning mm -hmm. crew. Not great. Erica Sandberg on the same thread says supplying weed and booze to addicts is not OK. I believe you know this as sister to a sister who OD'd many times. I know this and free isn't free. We pay for it. So a lot of family members getting thrown right under the bus on this thread. My <laughs> yeah, sister, no OD'd, <laughs> my sister OD'd all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they tag them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah!